Lakeisha Murray and welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday! Happy Saturday fam! So as you can see I am out here in these street eats getting my exercise on. Uh, <coughs> it is a beautiful day here in uh, Houston. Like seven degrees outside is a perfect day to get out and ride my bike. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, sorry about that. I got my beats on and I want to make sure that you guys can hear me because I'm listening to an audio book in my ear while I ride my bike. But um yeah, so I'm out. It's a beautiful day. It's a nice little plan. So I'm out here riding my bike. I haven't really rode my bike since the fall when time change. Because um, when time falls back, it gets darker um, earlier. And I don't ride my bike at night. But I wanted to get out this morning and ride my bike because obviously time sprung forward number one number two it's a beautiful day outside number three i didn't want to be in the house working out so i have the luxury of getting on my bike and going so that's what i'm doing but right now i am taking a break and i'm using you guys as an excuse to take a break i'm at the park that's in my neighborhood um because i wanted to really i, I say i'm using you as an excuse because i wanted to sit here and talk to you guys for a hot second hopefully you can see me because it's kind of dark and I really can't tell because of the sunlight. So hopefully this is not too, too bad. But um, your girl is tired. I'm, I'm just going to be real. I'm not going to get no excuses. My ass is tired. I haven't been on my bike since the fall. And you can tell. So I had to take a break. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't even went a half mile yet. I had to take a break. So I'm using uh, uh, me taking my phone off my handlebars as an excuse to take a break but I'm not gonna take a break for too much longer because I want to get back I want to get back on it but uh, yeah I have my book bag because I'm gonna put my phone and everything in my bag and finish listening to my audio book but <sighs> man I remember I used to be able to ride for five miles in under an hour now i know that may not seem like a lot but that was a lot for me and i realized that when i was doing that my bike was at its highest resistance while i was doing that like i was on it okay so i just need to i just need to get back there um i've told you guys before that my little neighborhood has over 23 miles of walking and biking trails if you remember in a previous video i may have shot it um, they have done triathlons in my subdivision so just to give you an idea how big it is so yeah um, i'm definitely taking advantage of all these trails where i went and got a bike but anyway i don't want to sit here for too much longer and lose the little momentum um, that i just built up so let me get back on this good here bike ride real quick and I will see you guys at the crib workout done yes honey Whew. tired I'm back at the house cooling down that was uh, that was tough but I'll get back into it I will I'll get back into it. Oh, man. That was tough. But at least I got it done. I, I did not time myself or um, track the distance that I rode. I just got on my bike and I just went for it. I'll do it next time. Well, maybe. I just know that, you know, I need to get back to where I was. So I'm not really interested in tracking it this isn't a time right now I just want to get back into the habit of riding my bike so now I'm about to cool down a little bit do some work planning in a uh, online 
seminar that I want to give. Um, by the time you guys see this video, the seminar will be probably in the next couple of days afterwards. So I'm about to touch up my flyer so it could uh, become more searchable because I put uh, my flyer up on Eventbrite and yesterday. So this morning I got up and tried to search from the tags and the keywords, you know, for my webinar and I didn't come up. So I, you know, looked at some other similar online seminars um, from other companies that I have posted on Eventbrite to see what they did. So took some notes and now I'm about to update my flyer so I could become a little bit more searchable because I need for people to show up and in order for people to show up, they gotta know that I'm offering something, right? Okay, so this is my free seminar that I am giving. Can you see the mouse? Okay, so right now it says, you know, call in for the clarity and motivation that you need. You know, uh, but I changed it here to clarity and confidence seminar. So the seminar, it will be the key word that uh, will cause my event to pop up when people come in to, you know, come on to Eventbrite and to search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my flight here because it doesn't say clarity and confidence. It just says clarity and motivation, which is pretty much the, you know, the same thing. But I wanted to keep it with the two C's, you know, clarity and confidence. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is that I'm updating it here. So it's going to say, call in for the clarity and confidence needed to reach your goals. So this is the day and time that I'm going to be presenting. So by the time you see this um this video, there still be enough time just in case you guys would like to join in on the call. I would love to, you know, talk to you guys, you know, live and in person. That would be so awesome because it would be uh, an online webinar situation. So you will be able to see me because I will be on the webcam. Don't worry. I would not have it where when you call in your, you know, your, your camera will automatically pick you up. <clears throat> because all the lines will be muted and the video will be off for all that's in attendance. So if you have any questions or anything, you'll be able to put them in the chat box. So the whole purpose of the Sister Pep Talks is to give um, women some encouragement and motivation because, you know, sometimes... You know, you just need somebody just to pick you up, you know, to give me, you know, to give you a pep talk so you can get back on track or change your, your, your mode of, of thinking. Because sometimes, you know, fear creeps in and, you know, we start thinking about, you know, all our weaknesses as opposed to our strengths, all, you know, our flaws and stuff like that instead of focusing on the positive, instead of focusing on you know, all the blessings that are around us, you know, and every now and again, you just need a little pep talk from your big sister, your sister coach, and that's me. So the goal is to just uh, come on, tell a little bit about me, and just really have a and a session, you know, for like 30, 40 minutes of just Q&A, whatever you want to uh ask, you know, I'll give you, you know, the the motivation, the confidence, and the clarity, right, on that issue you may have, an idea you may have, or a goal you may have, you know. Um, like, for instance, I had a pep talk um, with one client, you know, she called, and she was just like, you know, I, I need you to talk me off the, off the ledge, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? Um, long story short, um, she doesn't like her job, and she's thinking about going back to school to get certifications and another degree so she can teach. And the goal was to become a teacher so she can have the freedom to spend more time with her kids. Because, you know, teachers have <coughs> summers off, spring breaks off, <coughs> excuse me, 
every holiday off so that way she could spend more time with her children. And I'm just, you know, and I'm just like, okay, if you want to do that, that's fine. But why not go back into event planning? Because that's what you love. That's what you're passionate about. And your skills are amazing. So why not go back to that? So I spent the next 30 minutes just encouraging her to, you know, look to the event planning um, business as opposed to going to school. Well, not necessarily doing event planning, you know, instead of going to school, but just providing her with other options. Like, let's look at all the options on the table, you know. And um, so, yeah, so by the end of the, the conversation, she was hyped. She was motivated. She said she was going to um, put her kids down early that night and jot down some ideas, you know, so she could strategize and things like that, you know, as it pertains to getting her event planning business back on track. So, you know, every fear that she had, you know, I just counteracted it with, you know, uh, well, you know, but I can't do this. But what if this? but I can't do that, but what if this, you know? So sometimes you just need somebody else to uh, give a different perspective, you know? So you can look at things differently and um, give you hope, you know, that you can do better and be better. Whatever you want in life, you already have the gifts and the tools within you to make it happen. So, yeah, so that's the whole purpose of the sister pep talks. And, you know, that particular pep talk would have, you know, blessed so many other women, you know. So that's why I wanted to do it in this uh, group session, if you will, so other women can come online and see that, you're not the only one having these same thoughts and and fears, you know, about doing something different. It's hard to do something different than what you've used to and what everybody else around you is doing. It's hard to do that. So if you see that other women are experiencing the same things you're experiencing and having the same emotions that you're having, but still taking that step, you know, that they need to take in order to get further and closer to the level they're trying to reach or the goal they're trying to achieve, all that's going to do is inspire you to do the same thing. So, yeah, so anyway, that's my whole spiel on, on um, the Sister Pep Talks and things like that. So this is going to be on Eventbrite. If you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box below. I would love for you guys to join. Um, if you cannot join, please share that link with your family and your friends um, because, you know, I'm trying to build a sisterhood because we need sisterhoods, you know. So we need to come together uh, as sisters, as women, and help and inspire and motivate each other, you know. So that's my goal. So, yeah, I'm going to finish working on this, and I'll see y'all in a minute. I actually just saw the room and it's small, but it's going to help me create that intimate setting that I want, which is totally fine. And, um, you know, the, the costs and the requirements and all that, one point. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign a contract today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we need to find out if there's availability um, that day because it's on Saturday in May and you know they just need to see if you know if there's availability during you know the time frame that I will like to have it so we have to push the time back I don't know we shall see but um yeah let me give you a quick lay of the land real quick because this is a really small hotel yeah so this is what it looks like very small so yeah, very small, nothing major. This is what our second event, and this is still pretty new. So, small beginnings, right? I can't wait to see where we are two and three years from now. So I'm so happy that I decided to document this process now so I can look back to see where we started and where we are, you know. Um, 
out in the future as our business girl. So I'm super, super excited. I'm going to try to get in contact with my girlfriend since I'm on this out of town because I'm not too far from her. And see if I can see my godsons. If I do, I will take you guys with me. I'm excited. Contract signed and done. And my girl called me. So I'm about to go meet up with her. She's getting her hair done right now. So I'm gonna meet her at the shop. This is a this is a great day, y'all. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. I'm super excited. So the other um organization <laughs> They usually book this particular meeting room every Saturday, had not booked just yet. So I was able to go ahead and, um, you know, get the room. You know, I asked her, I was just like, well, cause she said it was a church group. So I was just like, she was like, it's available. So you can go ahead and take it. And I was like, but you said they book it all. Did they book it every week? Maybe I should, you sure? I mean, I don't mind changing the time of my event. And she was like, nope not at all it's first come first serve so it is what it is which is why we tell people to come in and book it in advance you know when they can so i went on ahead and i went on ahead and, and booked it so i'm excited and then i was talking to her about it because she asked me what was the event and i told her it was going to be like a little conference and i told her about my business what i was trying to do at the conference trying to accomplish and she was just like oh my god like she was like yes she was like that is awesome she was like that is such a blessing we need more positivity you know in this world and i was just like thank you i'm trying to be a blessing to others and she was just like oh you definitely will be <clears throat> you know and i told her um uh you know it's a new business we just getting started so i may have to cancel just in case nobody are it's me you know what I'm saying? and uh, she told you understood she was just like you know <clears throat> whatever you do if it doesn't work out with us she was like just she was like make sure you keep going keep pushing through because we definitely need more positivity in the world so i was like i will thank you so much so it was nice to kind of get that reaction from her and so when we signed the contract and everything <coughs> you know i filled out the, the you know the contract and give it back to her she was just like oh and the name of the company is even better she was like i just love it and i was just like wow thank you so that made me feel really really good so i am having an awesome day i'm having an awesome day awesome saturday guys Yay! so yeah hope you guys are having an awesome day too so now i'm about to go see my friend go see one of the besties and uh hopefully get a chance to hang out with my um with my guy baby so uh, if I do, I definitely shoot so you guys can meet them. And uh, yeah, guys, I will see y'all in a bit because I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Um, <clears throat> I used to live over here in this area, in this area too, where I am right now. So I used to live over here. But uh, anyway, so I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. Super excited. It's a good day. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Anyway, I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. I am back at the crib. There was so much going on that I didn't get a chance to pull out the camera and vlog while I was eating. I was so excited. The kids were so excited to see me. So it was just way too much going on. I totally forgot. But I am home. I didn't run any more errands that I was supposed to run, but that's okay. I will handle them next time. And I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Today was a good day. Hope you had a happy Saturday as well. But, you know, come say bye. Hello. Don't mind my husband. I apologize for his rudeness. We'll see y'all next time.